Well, it's been a little cooler today than it has been. I probably should have worn a sweater, but I had the heater going, so it was okay. This is just an update of uh, what I've done today. The instrument panel is in its final fitted place. The firewall is in its final fitted place. Um, all of these uh, L angles on the inside where you see these holes have now been enlarged to an A5 size rivet. Uh, the L angles up at the top, you see the holes here and there's some holes right there. Those are uh, those get riveted in with A4s, so those have been enlarged. The instrument panel is A4s. The uh, firewall is A5. And that, uh, you can see inside here, over there, those are the little L angles, and then there's some more over here. Today I have mostly focused on getting this glare shield fitted and drilled uh, to be final riveted. I sort of debated some guys tuck this in, some guys bring it out. I'm pretty sure the factory tucks theirs in. I have decided to leave mine out. I put it in and drilled it like we drilled uh, the wings and what have you and then I brought it out and brought this on the outside so that's how that's going to be. Um, this right here, this little edge, I'll show you on the, this is the factory edge. When you, when you fit this, this has to tuck inside all that structure you can see over there. It has to tuck in over here. And this one wouldn't go down far enough but if, because when you put it in, when you put it in, there's a little buckle right here on the instrument panel right there. So I had to trim, put it out here. I had to trim this a little right here. You can see I put a radius in it so it wouldn't split. And that was before I decided to bring this out. So now I've, I've got this. I, I've got two ways to go. I could either clean this up really neat and then just leave it alone. Or I can cut a little patch to go over this with the shape on the other side. Um, I'll probably just clean this up and leave it. There's no structure, no change in structure. Uh, and, the other side's the side that visitors will see anyway. <laughs> so um, I think it'll be okay. I, it's, if that's the smallest thing on the airplane, I'll be great, grateful, be glad. So, okay, everything's drilled. Now, the fun part, I'll just back off here and give you a shot of it. Oh, by the way, if you ever build one of these, buy yourself about a dozen of these in case you lose them, can't find it in 10 seconds, uh, you'll use this. Move this out of the way. I gave you a shot of the airplane. Uh, you can see the nose there. And we come down like so. I'll stop this for a moment. Bring it back here. I think the sun's probably going to wash it out. Uh, not too bad. But here's, oh, Alex. Grandson Alex came by and put his rivet in. That was, he thought that was pretty neat. Um, Steely has one on the other side. Jeremiah's got some on the wing. So Saturday, uh, tomorrow, I have to go down to the Vacation Bible School and, and see my grandson Alex's performance. But Saturday, I take all of this apart again. I take the firewall out. I take the glare sheet out, instrument panel out. I leave this. Um, I'll get all the little shavings of metal out. Deburr everything. Make sure everything's kosher inside. Uh, well, it's not really kosher. That would make it Jewish, but that's okay. Um, oh look, it's cool down, 98. So that's all for today. I'm going to go sit down and have myself a cerveza. It's Thursday night. The guys always come over for pool on Thursday night. So that's what we'll be doing. I'll send you more on Saturday.